Yeah, hello there. Uh, this is Justin, uh, formerly KD8 PMR, now uh, Whiskey 8 Lima Papa November. Uh, I haven't done any videos here in a while, so I uh, figured it was a cold day, so I'm going to get a couple together here. Um, first video I wanted to do today was uh, it's going to be about how to change your license. Um, if you want to change your call sign for a vanity call. Um, and uh, for me, I was on, uh, I had the uh, previous in initial se sequential uh, call sign, uh, two by three. And I wanted to get something a little shorter, so I went with a one by three. Um, technicians and generals can go ahead and can get the one by three. Um, Vanity, I uh, believe you, you still you have to be an extra to get a two by one or a one by two. Um, but if you're a general or tech and you want to change it to add your uh, initials or whatever, uh, you can uh, do that. It's really easy. Uh, the FCC did get rid of the uh, the processing fees for vanity call signs now. So if you want to get a vanity call. You don't have to, uh, I think the, it was around $20 was the last fee. Um, so you don't have to wait, or you don't have to pay the fee now. Um, you can, and you, you can go through uh, third party. Um, there's some, I think W5YI, uh, I'm not really sure, but I know there are several different uh, places you can go do that. Um, the main thing is, uh, you can do it yourself through the FCC ULS, um, and I'll show you how to what the application looks like and what you would do to fill it out. Uh, it's not hard. Um, now, when you do this, uh, it does take some time. Um, once you submit the application, um, it takes approximately 18 days. It, well, at least 18 days for it to go through. Um, so uh, don't do it and expect that you're going to have a new call sign in three days. Um, I know that usually when you get the initial license it goes through pretty fast, but uh, this, this does take a little longer, but like I said there is no fee now, so it's a little, you know, if you're a little tight on a budget, it's kind of nice to go ahead and uh, do that. So. Uh, what we'll do is we'll turn the camera here and we'll pull up the screen for uh, the, um, the ULS application and uh, we'll kind of go through that real quick. Um, if you're already a Hamlet uh, operator, you have an FRN, you probably should have uh, FLS or yeah, FLS um, ULS, sorry. Uh, you should have a ULS account, so you set that up and then you would go under you'd log in and when you first log in it comes up to your um, your license page um, and then on the side there is like a gold bar and there's a bunch of different things for apply for a new license, set paper authorization which you can also if you still prefer to get your license paper delivered in the mail you can have that done um, and then there's under your license, you can renew, update, request a duplicate, and then there's the applications. So what we're going to do is, um, and then on the other side of the screen, there's a, a part that says work on this license. And you can update your address, your name, um, and you can do your vanity call there. So that's where we're going to work with. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull that up here and uh, we'll pause the video. So we'll go to the screen. This is where I was telling you the, uh, you click on the vanity, and then you'd be, you know, you fill out this part here, which is if you are exempt uh, from any fees, which would probably be no. And then you would do the, um, the eligibility, and this is where you would um, pick if you just want to pick your own call sign, then you would go on primary. If you wanted to do a close relative, you would have to submit 
paperwork proving that. And if you had the former or the former primary call that, you would also have to uh, provide documentation. So we're just going to do the primary. Um, and then what you would do is you would fill out whatever you um, wanted up to 25 call signs. Uh, and then you would hit continue, which we're just going to go, we'll just throw one in there. Um, and then you would fill out your information and then you would go on to the next uh, piece. Um, it's actually really simple. It, it's not hard at all. Um, it's self-explanatory for the most part. Um, if you have questions, uh, you know you can always uh, comment here, or uh, you can ask an Elmer. It's it's really really simple. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop here, and we'll come back around. I know this isn't greatly informative, but it'll uh, might be able to help you a little bit. We went ahead and showed you real quick how to do that. Like I said, it's not anything fancy. Um, it just takes time, so don't don't get in a rush thinking it's gonna come in a couple days because it, it won't. But uh, it's really simple. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, you can. Uh, comment there um, or email me uh, you know, I'm good on QRZ so uh, but yeah it's it's not hard um, I just wanted to kind of touch base uh, being that I did change my call sign now and uh, so that's it um, not hard um, first couple times though, you get to check into your local club repeater or something you might you might confuse some people, but other than that, it, it's not hard. Um, and if you, another thing, real quick to touch on that, um, your QRZ account will update itself. Um, I believe with Logbook of the World, I can't remember if I had to request an update or if it just, I think it did update and email me. Um, that's something that you can check into with that because I can't remember how what I did there. Um, and then EQSL, the way that works, you have to create a new account under your new call sign, but you can manage it under your old call sign. So mine, I have KD8VMR and W8LPN under my uh, EQSL. Because if you delete the EQSL account for your old call sign, then anybody who's trying to make um, confirmation with that old call sign, it won't work so then they can't get their QSL. Um, other than that, uh, and then another quick thing, Echo Link, um, once your call sign is validated through or appears on the ULS, you have to request it to be validated. Um, you can follow the validation just like with your old call sign. You can use your old call sign to help validate the new call sign and then you just basically swap um, you just log into your echo link with your new call sign once everything's validated. So it's it's really not a big deal. Um, you do have some, you know, it, if you have all that stuff set up, I mean, you do have to change it, but it's not hard. And then I use the N3 FJP uh, software. That you just change your call sign on it, and then you change your logbook of the world username on there, and your EQSL, so it will upload to that correct account. So that's it. Um, so we'll go ahead and say 7-3 for this video. This is, uh, uh, sorry it's been a while. <laughs> uh, I know these videos aren't the greatest, but uh, I try. So anyway, we'll say 7-3. This is uh, Whiskey 8 Lima, Papa, November.